All of these girls are jealous because I've just filled a the magic bucket. These are the tools I'm using for treating the scald. The cloth, the toe shears, and the uh, alamycin spray. And this is one of my homemade um, tripods for the iPhone camera. So look, Ebony, you're looking for the food, aren't you? Yeah, you want the food. You're not going to get it. This is for the other yo's. So now, magic bucket time. Let's see how fast they come. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Woo! Come on! Woo! Come on! Woo! There we go. There we go. There's the lame one. So, we're going to be dealing with her. Hey, girls. guys are not happy at all. Anyway, I gotta turn the video off to close the gate. The, uh, the aunties are staying out. They know something's up. So here I've got all the hoggets in here, or yo lambs, whatever way you want to call them. Last year, uh, excuse me, get away from there. Now, the one we're wanting, where is she? No, I want to pack them in tight because it makes it easier to handle, to catch the one we want. Okay, so I've got her under her jaw. I didn't mean to press pause. I got her under the jaw. You can see I'm holding her here. Now I'm going to flip her and to get access to her front foot which is the one that has scald. I have to turn off the camera to do this because it's a two-hand job. Okay. All the other ones are fine. I now have her flipped. Inca knows that foot pairings might be occurring. So the first step is to clean the muck out of from between the toes. So you can see this is the affected toe. In between there, there's gonna be pink gooey stuff. At the moment, it's just muck. So the first thing to do is I take this, it's a coarse cloth, and I bring it through the cleats. So. <laughs> that takes the worst of it out. Okay, so she doesn't have scold. She has a bit of foot rot right there. So I'm going to have to trim her toe, trim this toe area. You can see in between there is very nice. I'm gonna do this second one just in case. Yeah, both toes are really nice and dry. Now I'm gonna trim the toes. That's a two-hand job, so I have to put the camera down. Everybody's still quiet and settled. She's still sitting here, nice and quiet. Her feet have been pared and sprayed with the blue stuff. So you can see, all sprayed down and trimmed. Her back feet as well, I did all four feet. Why not, as I have her here. This one is behind, and she's stuck on her own. Which is <coughs> yeah, or no. But she's being very good and quiet, and not pushing past us. But when you hold a sheep right, 
at the right angle on her hips. You can see she's practically going to sleep. Isn't that right? Look at that. <coughs> Just relaxing, completely relaxing as I've been working on her feet. Here's the rest of them. And these guys are uh, eating the bits of hoof pairings. They find it absolutely delicious. So uh, if she was in pain, she'd be gritting her teeth and grinding her teeth, but she's not in pain. So there we go. I'm sitting here because I've got to wait for this to dry um, before I um, let her stand up and get them all mucky again. So I'll let it dry and then by tomorrow she should, tomorrow or the next day, she should be much better. So there we go. And the aunties are over here grazing now, having a lovely time not being in the pen. So there we go. I will let this one up in a few minutes. Okay, it's time to let her up. Okay. There we go. Uh, she's still going to be a bit lame. Whoops, I'm dropping my tools. She's still going to be a bit lame, but she should be fine. Let her pass. Open this gate. They're all going to follow me out. <coughs> yeah, girls. scraps. These guys all wishing they were out to get some meal. Now, come on girls. There's just a bit. You can see her blue toenails and she's feeling a bit better. She's not quite as lame as she was uh, when I brought her in on three legs. Look at that. She's standing on all four legs beautifully. She's not kneeling down to get that scrap of food that I've just dumped on the floor for them. So, got to get these guys out though. Come on, you two. These are the other two yo lambs. Jasmine and Giselle. So now you know the Yo, lambs. Oh, there's, um, oh, I can't remember her name. She's down. On, oh, look, they're all on their knees. They're all trying to push in. And the easiest way to do that is get on your knees and push your head in. So pushing in, trying to get as close as possible to the nuts. There we go. And there's Bourbon Flyer watching the proceedings saying, I want some nuts. And there you are, fat and jolly little half-bred Svartblas. <laughs> no, there's nothing in it. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Well, that's a job done now. So you can see she's not quite as la lame as she was before. See, she was on three legs. And now she's not. So that's what a little bit of leg pruning. She's slightly lame, you can see, but she's not as lame as she was at all. Job done. Okay, now on to, maybe I'll go and do some gardening or something. Something lovely to do with the weekend pleasures of gardening. Mind you, I've got to scrub my hands off first.